Hi, everybody. I'm Kim from KimDick.com, and this is Rediscover Wellness. So let me ask you a personal question. Do you have fine lines? Do you have wrinkles? How about age spots? How about dull or flaky skin? How about sagging jowls? <laughs> I know I've got it all. And if you've answered yes to any of those, well, I've got a treat for you today. I have Katie Fleming, who is a licensed master esthetician with us today. So I'd like you to welcome Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi. Thank you so much for being with us today. I really appreciate you being here. Oh, thank you so much, Kim. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, so first of all, Katie, um, let's tell everybody basically what is a uh, master esthetician. I know it takes a lot of hours, a lot of dedication. Yeah. But tell me about how you got to where you are. So I, um, so I got licensed right out of high school. Um, I enrolled when I was 19, and I went to Paul Mitchell Skin Academy. And a master esthetician is someone that does facials, waxing, manicures, pedicures, chemical peels. Um, and I live in Utah, and in Utah, we're one of the only states that actually have the master aesthetics program. Oh, wow. And so that kind of allows me to do a little more in-depth treatments. Mm -hmm. So that's where I was kind of exposed to all of these amazing things. And I really just kind of, my passion just grew and grew for everything skincare and beauty. Well, that's awesome. And I know you started your own company. So tell us about your company. Yeah, so I started Get Glowing uh, last March 2021, and, you know, it was kind of a, a, a time in my life where I was needing a change. I had a salon and spa prior, prior, you know, before COVID-19, and mm -hmm. that definitely just changed everything. So I closed down uh, my salon and spa, and I went back to my books and went back to my products, and I spent about a good year just testing and trying out everything and i had al always loved korean skincare but mm -hmm. i never really had the time to really play with it right so during during that time was when i did and that's when i kind of got the idea for get glowing which is my my company that i have now well i do have to tell everybody that um i met katie through the internet and you know, obviously she's got personality plus, and I knew she was somebody who was also very approachable. So um, one of my issues, well, besides all the other things that I said at the beginning of the show, uh, one of my issues was I really felt like I had dull skin. And so I contacted Katie and I said, Katie, I need something for, you know, I would like that glow because I think I had seen you do something like a, a peel or something and you came on and you were taking pictures of your skin. And I'm like, I want skin like you. <laughs> So I asked her and sure enough, she made me some wonderful recommendations. And I was telling her earlier that I really don't like to promote products until I'm a hundred percent sure that they work because, you know, you just never know anymore, but these products are wonderful. And I'm going to share with everybody what I purchased from her. So this was one of them and it's golden time. It's an, like an ampule. I right? love that one. Yes. I actually have that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I ha I have all my skincare kind of next to me because during yes. the day, um, right right now I've got makeup on for the for this, but yes. typically I'm makeup free and I just apply these throughout the day. I love them. Well, this is just in this did get, this did give me a glow. I mean, I actually feel that my skin has a glow, and it's not like a you know overly shiny glow because sometimes I don't want to look like I'm greasy or sh you know shiny. I just want healthy looking skin, and healthy looking skin gives you a glow. So this was one set. Now the other set, because I don't know, Katie. You know, one thing that I like to do is I like to try a product and uh, use it until it's gone if I like it. Yes, me because too. I'm always afraid to mix other products in because I really want to truly see if the product works. So is that smart? Am I doing it the right way? That's so smart. You know, I also, I'll keep a little skincare diary. I know that sounds really weird, but. No, it doesn't. It's brilliant. You can make it really fun. You can make it cute. And like, I have like these fun pens that I, I do my cards with. Um, oh, and I, I so them. I use these same pens and I just write down what product I'm using. And I make sure that I take notes on, you know, what it did to my skin, how I liked it. That way I'm able to really remember like, okay, that yeah. one worked for me. That one didn't. Um, cause it gets overwhelming. 
It does. And that's what I see. And on a, a lot of these online comments is that y- there's so much out there and it can be overwhelming. So I think it's a brilliant idea that you keep a skincare diary. I love that. So yeah. how, how long do you recommend? Like, should I use this product all the way until it's gone and then try something else? Or do I bring something else in? Oh, it is. You know what? It's so hard because for me, that's kind of what I like. These are my everyday, my I will always have these on hand, but I do add in other things. So uh, one thing that I did just barely add in, because I just finished the very last bit of my golden time ampule. Yep. So now I'm actually using my lovely honey, which Ah. has been incredible. I've loved it so much. So, and the nice thing about these products is they're all wonderful to kind of layer on top of and they work beautifully together. And Korean skincare is definitely, uh, it's meant to be kind of layered onto the skin and it's very, very great for all skin types. You you really won't have any irritation or anything, Mm -hmm. but you know, when you do start a new product, it's good to kind of, you know, give your skin that, that chance to kind of, you know, don't judge it too quickly. Give it that good two to three weeks before judging the results of the product like you, I like to kind of use one at a time. Yeah. See what I like first. Exactly. Now I have another question for you because you're talking about the honey line that I have and I bought this too based on your recommendation. But you know, again, I'm confused. Like, how do I know which of these products to use? Like in what order? I'm not quite sure. I mean, can I go wrong by putting the wrong one on first or how do I, how do I use these? Products? I know it's overwhelming. So I always joke and I always say that there's like no rules, but I mean, there, there are rules when it comes to skincare, of course, because you want to be, you know, careful not to cause any irritations. But typically when you're using skincare, you want the lightest or the thinnest product to go on first. So would that be like the ampule? Or the yeah, serum. the amp. So I kind of go back and forth. I first do my ampule. Okay. And then, so I will I'll apply that to cleansed, dry skin. Mm-hmm. And I love the little bro- the little dropper that it comes with. Yeah. Yes. I'll just kind of drop it and then lightly massage. And I always try and focus on upward and the upward. Yep. Yeah, upward and outward motions. Mm. And one thing that really helps is, Beautiful. you know, because I practice aesthetics for, I, I worked on the skin for over 13 years, I saw the benefit of facial massage. So whenever I apply product, I try mm. really hard to just fit in like a little mini facial massage, even if it's like 30 seconds. So that's, that's a great different. idea. So I could use this for the oil to do or to for to put on and do a facial massage. Absolutely. Yeah, I do that every day. Every day I'll typically set aside like 2 to 5 minutes where I just kind of massage my skin with with one of my serums and I swear it's a game changer. Oh, that's awesome. So all right, so then let's say all right, I'm going to put this on. Yep. And then yeah. and do I have to wait to for this to dry before I put the serum on? I like to wait just a few minutes, um, maybe like brush your teeth or something yeah. and then come back to it and then go back and put on that, that larger bottle that you have the serum. Okay. Yeah. Let that kind of sit a little bit. Um, and then lastly is when you'll put on your cream. So yeah. for me, I'm still using the lovely honey. Oh, oh yeah. The lovely honey is yeah. so good. <laughs> I'm still using the golden time, but the lovely honey is, oh, it's incredible. It's really nice. And it smells you. so good too. It does. I was just noticing that because I haven't used that yet, like I had mentioned. So I just, it's a very light fragrance, but it's beautiful. Yeah. It's got 50% Manuka honey in it, which is really healing to the skin. And it really helps to kind of calm and, you know, obviously it's hydrating. Um, it's going to help with inflammation. I live in Utah and it's really, really dry here. So yeah. <laughs> anything that has extra moisture, I'm like super happy about. Yeah. Now you had mentioned um, Korean skincare line. And, you know, I, I've always thought that Korean women had the most beautiful skincare, but what is it about it? I mean, why did you choose the Korean skincare line? I mean, I, I know why, I mean, it's beautiful, but (laughs) is there a reason behind it? Yeah, there's a lot of, so for me, you know, I have such a passion for helping others with their own skincare journeys. And I feel like Korean skincare kind of has that same value system. Mm -hmm. So, um, in Korea, they actually, aesthetics is 
it's huge. I mean, they are the beauty capital of the world. They are about 12 to 15 years ahead of the U.S. when it comes to skincare and innovation and everything. So that was like the first thing that kind of stood out to me. But they're also very um, innovative and they're they're cruelty free. They're very focused on ingredients that work and the ingredients are also more potent than what we have in the U.S. So there's there's definitely a difference in the product that you're getting. Mm -hmm. um, and I will say that uh, in the past, when I was using other other brands, I would have reactions mm -hmm. and my skin would kind of have little flare ups. And I've never had an issue with any of the stuff that I carry. And that was kind of the first thing was me noticing I can use this on myself. I can never use stuff on myself. So that was kind of the first thing, you know? Well, you have beautiful skin. I mean, it's flawless. I don't oh. think you have any of those wrinkles or fine lines or age spots like I am. But so can you kind of tell us your secret? What is your morning and your evening routine? I'd love to know. Yeah, yeah. I need to start probably taking notes and so does everybody else. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. So I literally, I, I actually brought everything on my kitchen counter because this is what I do. So during the day I'm, I'm packing orders all day. I I'm yeah. very hands-on. I run everything on my own. Oh, wow. um, my husband helps me with a lot of stuff on my, on my business side, like on the website and everything. But as far as orders, it's all me. So I'm typically packing orders all day. But what I do is I always make sure and have my skincare on hand. And I'm usually makeup free in the day and I'll just continually apply my serums and my creams, almost like a lip gloss. Like think about how often we apply our lip balm to our lip. Yeah. That is about has as often as I apply my serums. And I know that sounds crazy and it sounds like a lot, but it's, you know, it takes two seconds. You just quickly right lather it on, you know, make sure your hands are clean and you're doing a little something for yourself. And then by the end of the day, you're going to have this really nice, flawless, moist, you know, just beautiful foundation for whatever makeup you want to use next. And one thing that I've really loved, Kim, I don't know if I showed you this, but the CC cream. No, I, have, uh, I don't know anything about that, but I'll place an order too. I'm going to have to send some. I'm actually wearing, I actually don't wear foundation anymore. I just you wear don't? I just wear, um, I have this CC cream. It changes color. Oh my gosh, look at that. On the skin. Um, and I have another product. It's um, the Multi Protection Balm. And the two of them together is what I use as a foundation. I layer them with my serums. And um, I love it. It really gives like a dewy shine. Mm -hmm. And I still use like a, a bronzer to set everything. Yep. But this is what I wear for foundation. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> that is, well, I definitely will be placing that order for you um, <laughs> with you. Um, but I do want to ask you too, because um, you sell some devices too, don't you? I do. Can yeah. you tell me about some of them yeah, that you so, have that, you know, that I, we could all use? <laughs> absolutely. So the first one that really stands out is Dr. Penn. Um, Dr. Penn is a microneedling device that is a game changer. It's something that I think every every person should should try if they're wanting to kind of step up their skincare routine. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about it is it's very gentle. So um, everything that I have on the site is for you know topical use and it's it's user friendly. And um, my personal favorite attachment to use with my Dr. Pen is the Nano attachment. What is that? It is, oh, I wish I had one down here. Um, so it's a little attachment, a little head that screws on top. Okay. And it looks almost like a, a scrubber on a foot file, kind of. Oh, okay. A little so bit. It kind of looks like that. Is there a texture to it or There's is it just... A little bit of texture. A little bit of texture? Yeah. And it's a surgical stainless steel. And what it's doing is it's just microscopically making little micro channels all over the surface of the face. It's not breaking the skin, mm -hmm. but it's just making little open channels, almost like aerating a lawn. Oh yeah. Your, your face is the lawn. Yeah. And then all of your yeah. skincare can, can go in and perform anywhere from 150 to 300% more. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it just bumps everything up next level. Well, can I use like if I did a micro needle and then what I, can I then put a product in or do you put the product on your face and then micro needle? 
So I've got, I've got a few options on the site. I've got some serums that are specially made for when you do your microneedling. Okay. What I like to do is I'll do my microneedling treatment on cleansed skin and then I'll use, you know, kind of like a hyaluronic acid serum that's just very gentle. And then afterwards, I will apply all of my favorite skincare throughout the day just to keep it hydrated and stimulated and all of that. Um, and it's something that I do on myself. I do mine once a month and I love it. I've done it for years and years. Um, it's just one of my favorite things. I think it's absolutely a great idea and it makes complete sense to me. So I'm going to be adding that to it in my order as well. But let me ask you this, because I know that you are incredible uh, and you're so informative and I, I see you respond to so many people who are reaching out to you online. And I know your business, your company is extremely successful, but do you do any kind of like online consultations or something? Or, you know, if people like me who have questions, I know you actually answered my questions for me, but do you offer services like that for people who are just kind of starting off? Absolutely. Yeah. So I don't really have an area for like a consultation on my website, mm -hmm. but I'm very accessible. So you, you can always message me. I have a little messenger icon on my website um, that you can always reach out to me. I'm always, always on there answering questions. Um, my email, my phone number is also on the website, but I am a big believer in helping others. So I want you to be able to ask, you know, I'll help you however I can with your skincare you. product, your journey. Yeah. I do have a question for you. So we were talking about skincare. Most people think about skincare is like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got problems here and I got problems here too. Yeah, so can everyone. we use these other products on the other parts of our body too? Yes, absolutely. So one thing that I always love to do is, you know, one thing that always shows age is hands. Yes. Yes. And so I'll always, in fact, my lovely honey, I have been using this as a, like a cuticle moisturizer Oh, and I'll use it on my hands, like the leftover from putting it on my face. Yeah. And well, that's a great idea. So whatever you have left over from yeah. massaging, it, massaging your face and your neck and uh -huh. I your chest too, right? Your yeah. I've always been a big believer in like putting everything on your decollete, your hands and your face. I think it probably just goes back to when I was in aesthetic school, you know, kind yeah. of like the rules of how to you know, stay looking good. Yeah. Oh, well, that's perfect. Yeah. Because lately I've just noticed that, you know, these age spots on my hands and they're hard to get rid of. So I'm going to be adding some more of my skincare onto my yeah. skincare as well. <laughs> well, do you have any new products that are coming in? That is there anything that, you know, you're anxious to get a hold of and to share with everybody? Is there anything you know, brand new and exciting coming up your way. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually just launched, um, some permanent cosmetics, some PMU, oh. which I'm super excited about. Um, and I just got them in. So they are machines that are actually made by Dr. Penn, the same company that makes my micro machines. And so, and I love, I love their quality. I love their customer service. And so now you can do things like lip blush, which is oh really gosh. popular. I know. And lip blush is something that, you know, it, it naturally kind of stimulates more collagen production. Mm -hmm. And you're also able to kind of create a, a fuller pout without having to do, to go to the doctor and get filler or anything like that. So this is something that you can just do at home with one of the machines that I have. And um, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. So exciting. And yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Well, I'm going to have to uh, make a long list here already. I'm excited <laughs> about these products. <laughs> well, I, Katie, I always like to end by asking the same question to all of my uh, guests. And I guess uh, here's my question to you is if you were to go back to your 18 year old self and give her one piece of advice, what would that be? Honestly, probably believe in myself because that was something I really had to learn so many times over and over. I, in fact, starting Get Glowing, yeah. um, I thought that this idea was too big yeah. and I thought it was like, I, I thought that I was crazy. <laughs> and I was telling my husband and he was like, no, Katie, I think that you can do this. Yeah. So I think believing in yourself is the one thing that I wish I would have known a little bit more. Yeah. Well, that's a wonderful way to end our conversation. <laughs> that's beautiful, Katie. 
I really, really, really appreciate you. And I'd love to have you back. Maybe we'll talk about the permanent, uh, you know, um, lip, would you call that the perm? Um, yeah, the permanent cosmetics, the PSU. Yeah, I would love that. That'd be great. That'd be great. Well, Katie, thank you so much for joining us today. Of and course. I will see all the rest of you on the next okay. podcast. Thank, thank you, you so much, Kim. Thank you, Katie. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.